Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. And in today's video, I'll be giving you guys a quick look at Android L, the new version from Android. So as you may already know, it's out now. Well, just the developer preview anyway. So in this video, I'll just be giving you my very first impressions, as well as just a quick walkthrough of this new Android version. So let us begin. Great everyone, so I decided to give Android L a shot. I thought, why not? But myself being the complete beginner, I decided to follow a guide on Lifehacker. I'll provide that in the link below, but it was very easy to do. I'll give you a little quick, quick description of what I actually did in the description below as well. But as you can see, here is the new boot animation. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it took me a while to transfer from Dalvik to Art. Um, so it might take about 10 minutes or so to, for it to boot up the first time you install it. But once it's up and running, it's good to go, basically. So it was very easy to do. I didn't even need my Android SDK. I just had to follow the link. So there is a new boot animation. I think that looks amazing. And it opens up to a brand new lock screen. So as you may notice that this lock screen is quite different than the usual lock screen that came with KitKat. Three icons are now there seen below. There's no more lock ring, it's now gone. Instead, if you wanna lock your phone, you just have, simply have to swipe up. I actually kind of enjoy this. You don't have to try and fiddle to get that lock screen, I mean that lock ring, you can just swipe up straight away and you're good to go. So if you wanna quickly get to your dialer, you can of course just swipe to that side. It'll now bring up the new UI overhaul of this dialer. Some people enjoy it, some people hate it. I kind of enjoy it, it's gone. They've gone for that Metro UI look that you've seen a lot with Windows. It's very flat. However, you have this little icon here at the bottom that has a very slight shadow to it, just making it pop. I think it looks really good. It's very fresh, clean, funky. I don't know, I really enjoy this. So that is the new dialer basically. It's got this material design look that they called it at Google I.O. As you can see, the bar at the top also changes color now. I think it looks really good, but it's up to you guys. Let me know what you think. So you can just go back into the lock screen. Of course, if you had to swipe that way, it'll open up the stock Google camera. But of course, as you can see, the uh, notification bar at the top looks really good. And of course, if you receive a notification, it'll pop up here. If you swipe away, it'll then disappear and away. But of course, if you wanna now read this, you just have to double click it and it'll bring up the messages like that. So I really enjoyed that new lock screen feature. It is really cool and I actually really enjoy this very feature. But of course, to uh, unlock your phone, like I said, just swipe up, unlock your phone like this. And as you can see, comes with that very slick new wallpaper. I really enjoy this wallpaper. And as you can see, this is the Google Experience Launcher. Um, not much has changed in this. I guess I didn't really have to because it's very clean. But as you can see now, it's completely transparent. The notification bar as well as the, the soft key area at the bottom. Those soft keys, a lot of people hate them. I actually don't really mind them. They are a bit PlayStation controllery, but uh, ah, what can you say? I'll probably get used to it anyway. So as you can see, not much else has changed with this Google launcher. If you hold down now, I only think that wallpaper icon has changed. I'm not really too sure what else, but Google Now is still there. Everything else looks pretty good. If we wanna talk about now this notification bar as this is what's general or changed quite drastically. If I swipe down now, here it is. It's very clean, very flat. It's got that dark gray. Looks really good. You've got all your little notifications there, as well as there you've got your little user icon depending on whatever you've logged into. So if I now click here or you can swipe down, there's two ways of doing it. You can either just tap like that or you can swipe down to bring it up. And here it is straight away. You can see your brightness control here. It is no longer a automatic brightness button. You'll get to that in the settings. It's now called the adaptive brightness. Pretty much exactly the same thing, but it's cool having all these new notification toggles. I do think that auto rotate hasn't been there before and now it is, which is Quite of a cool feature for all the non-custom ROM users out there. And of course, we now have this notification menu here that allows you to turn on do not disturb. So if I select this button right here, brings up a few more options here. You can either just have it for one hour, so you'll get no notifications or phone calls for the next hour, or you can actually change this in more settings. You can have it say for at night that you won't receive any phone calls or messages for a certain duration, say if you're at work or more importantly, when you're asleep. So 
that's that new notification feature. I really enjoy it, but I really want to hear what you guys think about all of this. So that is pretty much how the notification bar operates. You can then just select it again to hide it. But of course, we want to go into our settings right now. And as you can see, it's also received a brand new overhaul of its user interface. It's very white. Um, it's very clean, it's very minimal. A lot of people don't really enjoy this. They prefer that old school holo look. To me, I really enjoyed this style. I think Google's making a fresh new take of where their design is going. So I really enjoyed it. As you may notice there, the, the gestures, if you swipe up at the top as well as the bottom, I think that, was, that looks really cool. It's got a little dynamic wave there, depending on what side you're at. I think that's really cool as well. So a lot of the UI has changed. However, some of it has still stayed the same. For example, if I go into the NFCs and more settings here, as you can see, it all looks very different. You can say turn on, as you can see, it's got the new toggles there, the little tick that looks pretty cool. And when you're selecting it, changes the little style. I really enjoy that. But if you go say into your mobile networks, still got the old school holo look right here. It looks so drastically different. It's got very dark and got the old school blue there. So. I don't know, to me it looks kind of weird now looking at it, going back to it, seeing how much has changed. So I don't know, I quite enjoy this white effect. I kind of feel sorry for all the AMOLED users out there. Shame you guys, you're really gonna suffer with all this white around everything, but maybe they're gonna change it later on. So that is pretty much the settings. Say if we go into our storage, it still looks exactly the same. However, our battery is slightly different. It looks a little bit tweaked a little bit slightly here. And of course, Project Volta, the battery saver that everyone's been talking about. I don't think they've implemented it entirely, but they do have this battery saver feature on. And if you turn it on, as you can see, brightness dims, little icon goes up. And this is just to get you some extra juice out of your uh, Android just for say an extra 90 minutes or so, or so they claim. So still wanna see how this is gonna be tweaked, but I really enjoy this feature and it should come in pretty handy. I'm gonna see how that turns out a little bit later. Regarding the apps, you may notice that the gallery app is now gone. There's no more gallery app. It is now being completely replaced by the photos app. I guess Google have decided that they just wanna stick it to one complete app. So I kind of wish that they still had the gallery app. I was so used to it, but I'm guessing I'm gonna to have to get used to this photos app. So I only wanna hear what you guys think about that. The calculator app has received an upgrade. It's got now this little swipe out green feature here for all your advanced calculator calculations that you'd like to do. So as you can see, the that material design has been complemented here with this little blue at the top. So I think that looks really good. Everything else has pretty much stayed the same. Of course, I showed you there the dialer and the phone and the people that has now changed. So. That has received one of the biggest changes going into the people as well. You can see it like that opening up still looks quite different. Also, don't forget that the keyboard has now received a massive overhaul. If I select it now and see what it looks like, you can see that it's gone for a very clean, flat, dark, similar to a dark gray, almost bluish tint to it. I really enjoy it though. It looks really good. The only thing I wasn't too enjoying was when I say swipe for predictive text, it now has this weird black background that I think they need to change very soon. So, but other than that, I really enjoy this whole setup of what they got going on and all these little blue accents. It looks really, really good. For some reason, the power menu kind of got to me. If I wanna say reboot my phone, I don't have that option. It's pretty much just power off, so. Um, that's a bit weird also, hopefully they'll change that soon. I was a bit taken back that they didn't actually in include just a simple reboot, but I guess that'll come soon as well. I'm also keen to see later when they start improving the Gmail, the calendar, um, those still all look the same. So I guess in the next editions, those will be improved as well. Just letting you guys know that I'm actually am running Android L instead of just, it kind of reminds me of a CM theme. But if I scroll down here, here is the Android version. This simply states L. So we're waiting to see what that's gonna be standing for, I guess. But clicking on it a few times will bring up this cool little Easter egg that people have really come to enjoy. Um, a little history of it. It's actually a little Easter egg that is basically videos that have been posted every day for about 10 seconds that were on YouTube. Nobody knows where it was from, but I guess it was all YouTube doing it. So. I think it's really cool. I guess it's gonna be changing depending on what uh, version you'll be running later on. 
but it's a cool little Easter egg nonetheless. The actual feel itself does feel very smooth. I actually really enjoy it because it's now moved from Delvic to Art. Um, I've been running Delvic all the time now and I've never actually experienced Art, but I, for me, I think that it's a lot smoother, especially on this Android L. I really enjoy it. I think it's very fluid. I'd like to see more of where this art features are gonna be enabled and how smooth it's actually gonna be. But for now, I think it's brilliant. So I really like to hear what you guys think of it. Uh, if you're running it now, have you already switched back to your custom ROM and running stock again? Um, I'm gonna stick around for a bit, um, see what I can do if I can't live without all my paranoid Android or my uh, Sign Engine mods uh, setups, then I might have to switch back. But I really enjoy it for now and I'm gonna give it quite a thorough testing and see especially what the battery is like. Let me know in the comment section below what has been your experiences so far. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. But other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.